Year one starts with daily nutritional support. Everything has a root cause that can be traced back to deficiency or toxicity. Daily nutritional support serves as replenishing what is likely deficient. What else belongs next to your daily nutritional support? Vitamin D3 K2. I like this one by Quicksilver because it's sublingual. Always take your vitamin D with a fat source. It is fat soluble. Best in the morning when you naturally would be getting vitamin D. Omega-3 support. Reduce your risk of a cardiac event by 90% by having appropriate optimal omega-6 to 3 ratios. Check where yours is sourced. There should be no fishy aftertaste or burps. A lot of fish oils out there, get a good one. To close out tier one is a daily probiotic supplement. I only recommend probiotics when there is no persistent bloating. In the presence of bloating, I skip this one, get to the root cause of the bloating, and then we can pick back up with the probiotic. If you've been taking a probiotic, but you're still bloated all the time or have digestive issues, it's not working. At the best case scenario, you're just wasting your money. And the worst case scenario is you are actually feeding bad yeast or bacteria in the gut with the probiotic strains you're using. This is my tier one suite with my daily nutritional support. Do you guys wanna see tier two?